and welcome to the brand new session of cloud perceptor today we'll learn on how you can enable mfa delete on s3 bucket so you know uh, what is mfa delete uh, basically multi-sector authentication forces user to generate a code on the device yeah, usually a mobile phone so you can use your phone as well as there are some hardware MFA devices are available it generates the code that you can order from AWS okay, from the vendors and uh, before the, like before doing important operations on S3 so basically if you let's say if you try to delete a particular version or file then it will uh, you know if MFA delete option is enabled then it's going to ask you for MFA you know token so to use MFA delete, you need to enable versioning on S3 bucket. So this is the first point you need to enable versioning and you will also need MFA to you know, permanently delete an object version. You can also suspend versioning on a bucket. Okay, so these two things you will need MFA for. And the next is you don't need mfa for enabling versioning okay, and listing the deleting version so listing and enable version you don't need this mfa and basically to enable mfa delete you need okay you need to be the bucket owner okay and only root account can enable or disable mfa delete MFA delete currently can be enabled using the CLI. So using CLI command only you can enable this MFA delete option. So follow me to the AWS console and we'll look at it on how you can enable MFA. So here I am logged into my AWS management console. This is my root account and what, what I'm going to do is I will first enable the MFA delete the MFA option so I clicked on the security credentials okay so here it will give you an option to enable multi-factor authentication so you just need to click on Activate MFA and we'll be using virtual MFA device. Okay, so we'll show you the QR code. And I am using Authy. You can download it from Play Store. I'm using the Authy app to set up my virtual MFA device. I'm just configuring it on my phone. What what you need to do is after after you open up the Authy app, just click on the add account, and it will give you a scan QR code option from there. So just scan the QR code that is displayed, and click on save. It will uh, provide you to ask you to enter two tokens so nine three two six three five is the first token and i'm just waiting for the other token to come down it's gonna take 12 seconds okay here we have the second token seven nine two and 870 all right we are good to go now now you can assign mfa so we have successfully assigned virtual mfa now it's time to enable the access keys again it is not recommended to enable access keys on your root account but just for this demo purpose i i require an ec2 instance so I'm just enabling the access keys. All right. 
right i will download the file all right i've set up my ec2 like cli in my ec2 using the access keys of my root account so let me just give it a try ls s3 ls so here it is successfully configured now it's time to fire the command which enables which enables the MFA delete. Okay, so. All right, so we'll be uh, firing a command here, which is sudo AWS S3 API, put bucket versioning. So remember one thing, when you are enabling the MFA delete, you need to enable bucket versioning. So we are mentioning the bucket. I've already created a bucket uh, called cloud perceptor test bucket and, uh, yeah, you here we have mentioned the versioning configuration which has status of enabled and here we are also mentioning that you know mfa delete should be enabled and mfa here i'm mentioning the serial number of my you know my mfa device which is which i got it from over here so under security credentials okay you come across in this uh, mfa if you expand this mfa tab then you you will uh, find the serial number over here which you need to put down in the mfa as a as an mfa value okay so serial number along with that this is the generated code so let's hit enter and see works okay it is saying unable to locate credentials okay you can configure it as maybe there is some configuration uh, due to which it is not working let's find it out what's wrong all right after uh, fixing up the access keys i got the screen uh, so let's hit to our command and put down the latest token number Eight seven one two seven one and see if it works. Okay, this seems to be successfully working now. Right, uh, let's go back to our S3 and Cloud Perceptor test bucket under properties. We'll see. As you can see over here, the bucket versioning is enabled along with that see that mfa delete is also enabled so that looks cool so this is how you can enable mfa delete on your s3 bucket in my next video i will show you how you can disable it thanks for watching this video have a great day do like and subscribe our cloud perceptive channel